So why Basil, the hungry Syrian wonder, chose to become a Filipino? Maximula Natayo! <laughs> hey, he's, he's vlogging about the interview. I would do that too, definitely. For sure. Gonzaga, man. Would love to be interviewed by we her. We all know yeah. him as Philippines' too. adopted son. Ah, okay. So, mga tao, I'm so mga tao. that we have with us Because he always says that. The hungry Syrian mga tao. wonder. Basel. Hi, Basel. Hi, good morning, mga tao. So, Where did you get that, uh, mga tao? Hi, mga tao. Mga tao, uh, I was thinking of a way to call my audience oh. and the people. <laughs> and he has a Filipino accent! Yes. Vlog. <laughs> but the people uh, I amazing. see in the street because I'm always interacting with people. Oh. Good morning, with mga people. tao. With people! It's a Filipino accent! Good morning, mga tao. Okay. Afternoon, good morning, mga tao. It doesn't change. So. Your full name is? My full name is Basel Manadio. What does Basel mean? It means brave, like fearless. Mm, yeah. Nice. Maybe this oh, is Basil is like the the season, you know? Basil, yeah. but I think it's written with I. I Basil. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. Basil, yeah, okay. Basil is a very special name. name. I don't know anyone that's Basil. named Basil. When's your birthday? 1993. No. What? She's younger than me! 1993. So how 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 old or how young is he? He I'm, is I was 28. born in 1996. He's 28 years old. Three years older than me, so 28, 28 years 28. old. November oh. 11. 11, 1993. Yeah. You were born in Syria. In Syria. So, yeah. How many siblings do you have? I have one brother and one sister. But I thought and he was like 28. Yeah. 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 I thought he was older than me. I came in the really? Philippines <laughs> in 2000. Yeah, because for a 28 year old, he's a very successful man. Yeah, like he yeah, has yeah. a restaurant, he has Many a, a shop, he has a huge YouTube channel, and I think a second YouTube channel, a huge Facebook page. So he's super successful yeah. for 28 year old. The outbreak of the Syrian civil war? Yeah, uh, the Syrian civil war started like 2011. I experienced the civil war for two years, then um, well, my family decided to send me here in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Where's your family now? Scattered. Oh. So, my dad and my brother in France. In France? Okay. Uh, my sister and my mom, Saudi. Mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia? And me in the Philippines. How wow. come you all separated? Yeah. Why? Yeah, why? Because, uh, of course, my family, they wanted me to be safe. Mm -hmm. And they wanted my safety first. So, they sent me here uh, to study English, of course. Mm -hmm. How old were you when you first moved to the Philippines? 18 to 19 years. Oh, wow! That That's was the so first cute! Time you got 10 years in the Philippines. Yes. You probably miss your family very much. Yeah. 10 years. It's going 9 years now. Or you haven't seen them? No. So I wasn't able to celebrate anything with them, not even my own graduation. Wow. Because I graduated <gasps> as an engineer, a computer engineer. Where? In Perpetua, uh. in the south. Like what I told you, I have been in the south. Just a south boy. <laughs> he hadn't but seen his family in nine why? years. Why? But they could maybe like visit him or yeah, he, could, he visit could visit them. them. Yeah. In France and in Saudi Arabia. But it would be also a good idea for the family to move to the Philippines yeah. with him. I mean, he has, yeah. you know, like, big audience, he has big a big house, family in big the Philippines, too. friends in the Philippines. So. Yeah. so it must have been hard for you. It's interesting to get to know him more because we know him from the videos, but we don't know that much privately, yeah. right? He doesn't uh, share that much. I'm sure the Honestly, first year was the hardest. Yeah, the first six months was like it's my first time to ever be away from my family. Yes. And that time, if you ask me how to fry eggs, I really don't know. So, <laughs> uh, I got separated from my family. Like it was very quick. I didn't feel like it's just very quick. I got the visa the next day. I was booked to go here. And Why then, the Philippines? I don't know. Where's the Philippines located? My parents, yeah, they go, they travel abroad and stuff. But me, I was just a kid. Yeah, and I was mama's boy, so I, <laughs> I didn't go abroad. I didn't 
So they told me you have you're gonna go to the Philippines and this is your visa. And then did you cry? Yeah. So I objected first. I said I can't, you know, I can't live by myself. Oh, my that's dad so got sad. me to the airport and you didn't yeah, want my to mom go. was crying when I left and my dad told me we're gonna see each other again. But uh, that was nine years ago, we never seen each other. Why not? That's so sad. That's weird. FaceTime, like that video Video calls. We called video call. They attended my graduation through a video call because I wasn't able to bring anybody with me to my graduation. So I went by myself. Mm. <laughs> it's very hard. I bought a suit and then I went by myself to... Oh, that's so sad. Why uh, they don't PRCC visit him or he visits them? Mm. I, yeah. I was just alone and then I couldn't believe that I'm graduating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did you do it at 18? So the first six months were very tough. I cried almost every day. Mm. I asked them to book me back. Mm. Uh, it was you're getting emotional. Uh, it's your mama's boy. No, yeah. yeah. It's a bit so hard to be like separated from your mom. Yes, I had culture shock. You know. What shocked you with the culture? You talk about food, you talk about, mm. of course, I'm not used to... Food, Filipino yeah, food. Yeah, I'm used to sandwiches, bread, a lot of bread. We're all about rice here. Yeah. Can in his life. Of course, and that's what happened to me now. What? You have to always give me rice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't eat if there's no rice. You're not a true-blooded Filipino. Yeah, so I got I culture shock to the level Yeah, but you grew up with I, rice as I well. <laughs> because also I don't eat pork. Oh. And I uh. couldn't know whenever I go outside which is pork, which is not pork, as my uh, English was not good and I cannot really, I don't know what I'm getting or what I'm ordering. So I started going to a Sari Sari store and buying... Uh, oh, that's a cats, I think, right? Uh, buying the... He has many cats. And he has many cats, I think three or four cats, for right? It. So I didn't tell... But now instead of just studying English, he studied English and Tagalog. <laughs> I did that. And then I lost like 15 kilograms of my weight yeah, in, in about two months. Because you were just eating biscuits and soft drinks. Yes. What? Why that biscuits? was the first Filipino meal that you tried? The first Filipino dish? So the first Filipino dish is That's chicken tinola. Oh, how was it for you? <laughs> I love it. Ah, Until love now, it. yeah. That's your favorite? Filipino. That's my number one. Many nice. people they think chicken adobo, but they are always wrong. <laughs> so your favorite is tenola. Yeah. And then ever uh, since then you started liking the Filipino. Every food. ever since I started yeah exploring more, more and more, and mm -hmm. all the way I go to chicken isao, but I got scared one time because I found dumi salo. So dumi. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. Uh, so I oh. said okay, I stick to chicken. <laughs> No more of the intestine. Yeah. There's dumi pala inside. No. Okay, no, no, not good for you. Nah. Not good for you. What's the weirdest thing you tried? Na Filipino food. Balut. Balut. Did you no. try? No. Penoy. Yeah, balut. No. Penoy. You tried. <laughs> yeah, penoy. Fish ball. You tried. Yeah, fish ball. No problem. Quack quack. You tried. What? Oh, I love the quack quack. Quack quack, 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 quack is from a favorite dishes. Uh, balut to hear yeah, both. Yeah, yeah, the sushi. You want to sip the? Sip the... Cannot no. Cannot no. Oh, yeah. Did you try balut? Did you or not? I no didn't understand. Way. I understood that so he, he did not try balut. I understood that he Thank tried you. it, but that he didn't think it's weird, that it's good. And then after, That's what yeah, I yeah, understood that, and then I understood that he didn't try balut. Uh, I'm not it's sure. Weird for him. I'm not wow. sure. I didn't. Ten years. I'm not sure exactly now. Did he like, try it or not? Nobody helped me to do anything. So I searched just on Google English mm. school, and I live in the south. So the English school that popped out is in Makati. Mm. So I'm in the south. Don't know nothing about transportation. Don't know nothing about how to go there. Know nothing. So I really, I until this moment, I don't believe how I reached the school. I took like I commuted there when they're walking like one hour in Makati, roaming around. So I just have the address on my phone, so trying to find it. Then I started studying English there for like three three months, and then after studying English for three months, I started my school. So I started feeling comfortable because. I'm able to communicate with yes. people and of course 
when oh, it's you... like similar what you did. Like you went to Australia to study yeah, English. Exactly. But instead of three months, you studied English for six months, right? Yeah, I studied English for six months, and then yeah, my plan was to stay in Australia for six months, but then I stayed for six years. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and and he also yeah. probably planned to, to just study, study in, yeah, in the Philippines, uh, in the and, Philippines then and then he lived yeah, exactly. there. Or basically, he's living there since ten years, and he yeah. lived in Australia for six years as well. So yeah. You already having the ability to understand and interact and communicate yes. with others. So that's the time I uh, I started. I said, okay, I'm starting schooling, and so brave for you to like survive on your own in a foreign country at the age of 18, being away from your family, yeah, and with the war going on. To this day, there is still war. So yeah, it's really, really sad. It's definitely uh, really, really devastating. Was supporting me. You Basically, I came from a well-off family, so oh. back home in Syria, my dad is a very well-respected yeah, uh, yeah. engineer, mm -hmm. and he works for the government before, so... But I'm a type of person who don't really like to depend on my family, uh, don't really like to ask them for anything, even though uh, I would really try to break the allowance as much as possible, just for me to get by. Mm. Rather than ask so his father was an engineer, and money. he also wanted to become an engineer. engineer. You know? But I don't want to be that kind of. You want to be independent. I want to be independent, and yeah. that's the reason why I was never delayed in my graduation. My course is five years. I finish it in four years. Oh wow! Yeah. Wow. So I, I'm here to. My goal was to graduate, and I made it on time, even before before because I was really focused. How did you discover vlogging? Before, uh, when I'm still uh, study, I used to travel mm. sometimes. Like during summer or like that, we used to go. So when I go to beautiful places... I think the Philippines course, must be I an amazing place to study because as he said, he liked to travel in his uh, summer break or something yeah. like that. Like you have definitely vacations in the Philippines when you study. Yeah. And then you can visit like the most amazing places ever. You know, it must be amazing to study in the Philippines. Exactly. Like for you when you were studying in Australia, it's amazing also, place to study also amazing really places to. And visit. I think it's really great that he yeah. started vlogging once he was studying because he can put it out. You know, like his English skills and show yeah, his true. face out yeah. there it's and a good also way to practice memory as well. You know, create this memory for him. Yeah, travel memory like five you years, know, ten years. You can look back uh, at it. Yeah. I show the places I go to, like I go to Boracay, Palawan. Uh, I was actually amazed by the beauty of the Philippines because before going here, I had no idea. As many people, Vegan city. they never Vegan, had an yeah. idea about how beautiful the Philippines is. And I'll be honest to you, many Middle Easterns don't know how beautiful the Philippines is. Many rich Middle Easterns, they don't know the a beautiful side of the Philippines. So many people don't even know I where is the myself. Philippines. Yeah, crazy. true. When I saw it, That's I wanted true. to show it also to other people. Yeah, exactly. So Spreading I wasn't the word vlogging, of the Philippines. Like, vlogging and you're just videoing. I'm, I'm taking videos uh, Memories, yeah. of my surroundings when I'm in Boracay, when I'm in other places that I travel to, and then these videos, uh, of course, I already started like sending to my family back in Syria and he didn't Sydney. know that this is gonna change, change his, his life. life his yeah. whole life was about to change and he didn't know yet that to my friends unbelievable you know, I've been to this place it's so beautiful I've been to this area yeah. it's really really yeah. nice here amazing mm -hmm. the nature that so I discovered started falling in love with the yes. island what's the most beautiful place you visited here in the Philippines for you for me Palawan yeah Palawan is insane El That's Mido true. And Coron, the so. rock formation, the water. Exactly. Everything. So I discovered I can upload it on YouTube. Mm. I can show it to more people and share it to more people. So I started uploading on YouTube. And then? But I wasn't vlogging. I'm still a student. I just mm. upload. Whenever I have a video, I just upload. So, so the intention before was to share how beautiful. Yes. The country is. Many people, including my family, were shocked uh -huh. with what they see because uh, not many people are exposed to. I mean, uh, when you're talking about Middle East, not many people are exposed to the Philippines. Yes. They don't know much about the Philippines. They only know we have a lot of OFWs yes. who are Filipinos. They work, you know, they work hard. They, they didn't know the island, the beauty of the country. They don't know anything else. So. 
uh, I wanted to be the mean to show like beautiful places I go to, you know. I didn't know that people would like what I'm doing. People yeah, start it was the me. beginning of a new life for him and he didn't yeah. know. You know. They like my videos, they're asking me to upload more videos. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then your followers started growing. Were yeah. you shocked? I didn't expect, I mean, this because I wasn't planning for it. Hmm. So I did it, it was unexpected because I'm not planning to be uh, anything. I just have it. No, you yeah. look so, very yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you look so young, right? Yeah. After graduation, and you also started helping a lot of Pinoys. Yes. So when did that start? You you giving back to. So that was others. when we grow up. Uh, my family, we are like, I mean, we have values. We believe in good karma always. And my dad also is known for that. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, he's so, yeah. That was his dad, right? He's a very generous man. And mm. My mom as well. So. Ah, oh, nice pictures. I love. Oh. Back in Syria, we were raised like that. The That's idea of. Guys, we're gonna finish up the video here. That was here. part one. That was part one. Yes. We're definitely gonna do a part two of this video. Leave us a comment if you wanna watch Ooh. a part two. I love this jacket yeah, on the photo. Cool, right? It's a Philippines flag theme jacket. I love it. It's Let's so dive this straight into the comment of today. But before, I really have to say it's ah, okay. really interesting to, to get to know things about Basil, like his history. I know that he has one video on his YouTube channel talking about why he came to the Philippines, but I think this video is more, to be honest, more indeed, more more detailed. I think it's really interesting to know why other foreigners, for example, that have been living in the Philippines for 10 years, like Basil, are living in the Philippines. Like it's very interesting to know their story and what brought them, you know, for example, to YouTube, to Facebook, and like to the Philippines. What brought them to there and uh, what keeps them there? Yeah, and um, it's really, really nice. interesting to know a bit. Of, of history of, of his rather than just watching his YouTube videos. His YouTube videos are awesome, I love them. But it's very interesting to know more about him as a person and a little bit privately as well. Yeah, now let's get into the comment of the day. And the comment of today came from Willy Santos. I love this couple because they love our country. Filipino, more power of you, Fernando and Vanessa. Thank you so much. Maraming salamat po. Thank you. Maraming salamat for you. all of you that is being watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, smash the thumbs up button, and we'll see you guys Mahal in the next one. Kayo. And mother freaking high. Magandang happy. Because lately all it ever does is like we're only talking, talking Going round and around, back around I will fight like no other every day I won't stop like the other